How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at the 2024 Miami Boat Show. Well, I can't wait to get in there and see all the boats guys. I'm going to be covering all the center consoles from the 21 foot range all the way up to maybe the 35, 40. So without further ado, let's get in there and see all these boats and I'm bringing you guys with me. So here we go. This is the entrance. And since we got here early, it just missed the ribbon cut. First things first, we got to get our credentials, our tickets. All right, guys, so we got our credentials. We just walked into the boat show, and guys, don't think that, you know, since I have a sea hunt, that I'm starting here at sea hunt because, you know, I'm a fan of sea hunt and I have a sea hunt. It just so happens to be like the first boats that you see when you walk in here. That's the entrance right there. The first boat shows you guys see here are the sea hunts. So, let's get to work. I right, go, so the first boat that we're gonna start with here at the Sea Hunt booth is the 23-4 center console. This is an Ultra. So remember the Ultras have this big bench in the back right here. Nice big open space that you got here. You got these brown seats. Got your helm area. You got not only the Yamaha C7, I believe, you also have the Garmin GPS. Walk around here, since this is the Ultra, you got the big seating area here in the front with backrests. You got your anchor locker right there. And you do have a nice little hood. This one, I guess they haven't put a bathroom yet. But that's where it will go. All right, so this is the 23. Let's jump up to the next one. I right, go following up. Next boat is the 25. This one has one 300. You can also get it with dual. Once you get here into the 25, you have a dive door. Being the Ultra, it has the back seating also here. Have also a little bench, some cup holders. It's a new feature. I haven't seen that. This one also has these things that fold up so you can put the legs on. You got your seats here that fold. Garmin. Maximum of 10 people for this one. And this one being an Ultra has these little seats. You can make it a full bed or you can take this off. So you can walk through. You have storage under both boxes. You have another storage in the bottom. I like that the 25s already come with the full enclosure. This also goes up and down. Nice little head right here. And this 25, let's see how much it costs. Goes for boat show price. 124. Now this is the 25 that comes instead of with one 300, comes with dual 150s. So boat show price is 139.9. Let's jump up up here. Now this one's the game fish version. As you can see the difference, you have a live one in the back, have big storage right here for ice. And then instead of having that whole bench back there, you have this little pop-up bench. Have a little door to come out the back, but you do have a dive door here. This is your live well. Pretty much the same setup as the other 25. Enclosed. So you see the difference here. This is the forward seating, but this one doesn't have a little curve on the seats and it's a lot easier if you want to walk up here to the front once you get into the 25s you do have a windlass included you can operate it from here the front or you can operate it from the helm all right guys next up we have the 26.5 
This goes for 149, upgraded to the 200s instead of the 150s. Like that little blue line on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get up here. This 26 does have a dive door there on the side. This is the Ultra. As you guys see, it has the bench seat. Another big bench seat back here. Remember, the Ultras are more for sandbars, going out with the family. And then you got the Game Fish, which is more of a fisherman boat. Which are the difference I get asked a lot. The holes are the same on both of them. But as you guys see, kind of same setup here. You got the head area full of cushions, but you guys get the idea. So here you can see now that the seats are not there, the storage, and they have this little cut to put a table. Now, the 27s are the ones that start with the raising table. This one is just a platform. So, yeah. This boat, I would take this boat to Bimini with my eyes closed. It's 26, yeah, you're getting into serious boats. So, 149. Next up, we got the 27.5. This is the Ultra, goes for 179. This one comes with the 250s. Same kind of setup back here on the Ultra as you guys seen on the other boats. Now here in the 27, you have dual dive doors on both sides. Same setup here in the front. Things basically the same. You got your head, got some storage behind the head, that's new. Now here you have the table that raises hydraulic up and down and that starts on the 27s. And you still didn't lose storage. There used to be a storage box under this. So they moved the storage box back so you don't lose storage. But it's a great boat. This 27 really has nothing to hate on the 30. Just, you really notice the difference from a 30 to a 27 if you get in a really nasty chop. So let's jump on this one next. All right, so next up is the Ultra 305. This is the boat that I would upgrade to from my Gamefish 30. It has a bunch of new features. Oh, this is new. I like this. So the Ultra, instead of having that big cooler, how I said in the other ones, has this big bench seat, which I think will be better for my family, since we don't really do much fishing. We got this nice little table here. This is new, I haven't seen this yet. Now, you still have a place for a cooler. You have your Yeti Yamaha cooler here. You have this full entertainment center here, like this, instead of a live well. You have this entertainment center right here. Wireless charging. This one has the joystick, two huge garments right here. And you have your C7. You got storage up here now. It's something new that wasn't there. And the biggest thing is now it has this table right here where my family can sit in the front and eat. I don't have that. Mine's is more like the game fish, which is right next door here. It's forward seating, but a game fish. You see it's regular bench in the front and in the back instead of having the entertainment center you have live well it's more of this game fish you have the cooler in the back so it's it's a different type of boat same haul on both of them but for different things now of course both of these 30s come with the 300s now rumor has it game the game fish 30s will have the brand new 350 yamahas so i'm waiting for those to get slapped on these boats and I'll be the first one to do a full review on one of those game fish with the new 350s. But this is their top of their line right now. They do have a 28 here, which we're going to check out now. And they do have a 28 Escape, which is their bay boat. So let me show you guys that. Now the prices before we leave on these boats so you guys can see the difference. We got 239 for the Ultra. It's not really... A bad price whatsoever that's a really good price and for the game fish 
is 229. So that's the difference. The difference you're looking at from 229 to 239 is $10,000 because you do have the table that lifts up and a couple more features, but these are the boats, the 30s. You guys are familiar with my channel, you know this boat. Now let's check out the Escape. Now this is more of a bay boat. The 28 Escape goes for 169. It does come with two 300s. I believe this is one of the fastest boats in the Sea Hunt fleet. Haven't been on one yet, but I believe so. Hey, look who we found here. <laughs> Alamar, Miami. You guys make sure you give them a follow. <laughs> Every time we do a boat show, we always bump into each other. So I'll see you. That's my boy right there. But yeah, back to the boat. So you have the big seating here, entertainment center. You have wireless charging on both sides right here. Kind of like the same layout right here. Now this one, you'll notice has a huge front area here has a nice little chair there this opens up plenty of storage you do have storage under also windless you have here for a table oh i like that some cup holders here for the front but this is their 28 escape guys All right, guys, you guys are familiar with this boat also. I did a full review on the new 28. This one goes for 219. That's the boat show price right here. That's the twin 300s. Ooh, this one has the gray interior. This is the first time I see it in person. It's really nice. Feels good. So yeah, guys, I mean, I just did a review on this boat not too long ago, so you guys are pretty much familiar with this. It has the pull-out seat right here. You got access to all your bilge area down there. You have live wall right here, live wall right there also. Plenty of places to put all your rods on top too, on the sides if you're gonna go trolling. Really digging this great look when i first saw it in pictures i wasn't too sold on it but now that i'm here in person it looks pretty nice joystick you guys know basically how all this works this one has the coffin i did get word that they're going to start making the 28s and forward seating by the end of this year so you guys are going to be able to see instead of the coffin here the forward seating so that's going to be coming before the end of this year Got your windlass up here too. But yeah, some people told me this boat was a lot more expensive for 219. That's not what I thought it would be. Of course, the biggest change on the 28s is the floor. Live walls are up down here. Big storage. And these boys right here go all the way deep that way. Nothing like the smell of a brand new boot. So yeah, guys, this is a 28. All right, guys, so that concludes all the 2024 Sea Hunts. Let's move on to other boats and other companies, and let's see what else is out here at the boat show. This is just the entrance right here. We literally just walked in through right there, so let's see what else there is out there to see. All right, guys, we're walking into this other side of the boat show, and look who is here the brand new 350 i can't wait to see these on the back of the sea hunts doesn't look that much bigger than the regular 300 honestly it looks about the same size i like this this looks cool this little vents right here chrome yep yeah, this is the brand new 350 they're gonna be on the back of the game fish 30s Is the Mercury booth. It's here at the Herald Plaza. It's their big boy right here. The 600 V12. Showing you a demonstration here how the bottom is with swivels. Oh, 
Shows you the insides here. And for the record, guys, I do not hate on Mercury. I think Mercury is the top of the line when it comes to fast boats and performance and all that. I don't think Yamaha gets anywhere close to them. But when it comes to reliability, that is where Yamaha shines over Mercury. Pretty cool little display here. It shows you how the docking works here. But pretty cool booth here at Mercury. All right, guys, if you saw my Fort Lauderdale boat show, you saw that I did a video or kind of like a demonstration of these boats. But I didn't see this one. This is real nice. This looks like a Mercedes with a seating. These have jet ski engines on them. This one has a door or no? Oh, I thought it had a door. <laughs> That's a pretty cool feature right there too, like the mufflers. Look at the back of this thing. That looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do a cool video with these for you guys. All right, guys, let's walk out now to the floating docks. And let's see what else we see out here. Ooh, that's cool. Big armored truck. Looks like it's a Ram. Jeep, or that Bronco. But let's go back to the boats, which is what we came here for. Walking by these huge yachts right here. Look at this thing. Futuristic looking. Look at this big boy right here. Definitely smells like money around here. Look at this thing right here. It's like one of those James Bond's boats. Look at this beauty right here. Platforms on the side fold out. That's pretty cool. You definitely got to check out HCB. So to start, they got their 42 Lujo. Look at this beautiful boat. Awesome entertainment center here. All these are refrigerated. You have a back bench right here, glass also. Rails up here to grab on. Three screens, you got bow thrusters. storage yeah three different seats here love the wood park here to the front have a table that's on hydraulics Comes, turns into a whole lounge have storage under this coffin right here let me show you guys the inside you have a bed Maybe fit two people. A little TV, some drawers. Let's check the head. Head area. All right, guys, this is HCB's new model. They made a 48 Champion. First time I'm seeing this boat. So from the 42, it jumps now to the 48. Used to just jump straight to the 53. 
This one has four 425s. Huge live well here. Love this wood right here. Look at this whole drawer system right here. TV. Full bench seat in the back. Now this one you enter through the front here. Oh wow. All right, this is a little bit better. So you could probably put a platform here and sleep here. Wouldn't be able to bring the kids, but me and the wife can get away. Look at how nice this wood looks. All these drawers. Here's the head and shower. Looks like a huge yacht. Really nice. Let's come back right here. Controls. Let's go here to the bow. Wow, look at this. Very nice. Very nice. It's an E48. It's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Next up, we have the 53. This one's the 53 Sports Fish, but there is a 53 Sueños also, which is my favorite boat. But 53 just gets a little bit bigger. Look at this huge area back here. Love those seats. You have refrigerated drawers on the bottom, storage, huge live well. Could be a jacuzzi, this live well. You got four 425 Yamahas. You also have here two bench seats, two rows. You got joystick bow thrusters. Before we go down there, look at this. Huge area to fish up here. I guess they made a sports fish, aside from the sueños, to be more on the fishing side. Huge live well here too. So that's why this one's more plain in here. See, cause it's kind of more for fishing instead of the sueños that has the big bed. Bathroom here, storage. So HCB is doing a couple different things. Now let's check out the biggest boat in the fleet. All right, so this is the 65 Estrella. It's the biggest boat in the HBC fleet. This thing is huge, guys, huge. This one comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, six hundreds. This thing, you feel like you're on a huge yacht. Look at that live well. Probably the size of a jacuzzi for sure. All these are refrigerated boxes. You have Garmin here, so you can see from here also. It's a huge TV that folds down also. Now here in the back, instead of just being regular chairs, they're like lounge chairs. Look at this. You have five seats here in the front. This is the pinnacle of center consoles right here. Look at these. They're like TVs. Oh. Guess they've gone to Bibini. <laughs> Look, they've gone everywhere in this boat. <laughs> but yeah, man, this thing is huge, huge, huge. Let's come up here to the front. Look at this. Huge seat. Check the inside out, which is really where this boat shines. Yes. Wow, man. You have a huge room here in the front. You have privacy, you can close this. You have another bed right here. And 
look at the bathroom in this shower. This looks like a luxury house. Amazing. All kinds of storage here. It's amazing but doesn't get anything better than this right here. This is another new model that HCB just came out with, which is the 39. It's more affordable, but still getting the quality. Got two 600s back there. These are coolers, but also serves as seats. Full station back here. Got three seats right here in the helm. Three Garmin screens, you got your joystick, bow thrusters, you got buttons right here. Storage along the bottom, forward seating. Beautiful boat. See what kind of head it has on the bottom. Okay, so we got a bed right there. Then we got the bathroom. Pretty nice. Our HCB doesn't tell you the prices of their boats. Kind of got to talk to the salesmen. But really like that new 39. All right, across from HCB, we have Pursuit. A lot of people told me to check out the Pursuit boats. So we're gonna do just that. Now they do have a 35. So that's where we're gonna start. They got a 35 Pursuit here, no price listed. This one has the 425s, as you guys can see here. Have a huge pullout bench. Back here, live well. You also have a dive door. Now these are these seats that pull up. Yep, these are foldable seats. They fold out. So you can pick them up when you're not gonna fish. It's pretty cool right there. Here you can put probably live wells and coolers. three seats right here also you could fold this down for your feet dual garments bow thrusters joystick I'm gonna show you that now but let's walk here to the bow nice little cozy bow area you could adjust your radio from back here and you could move these electronically full enclosed now let's go down here kind of like HCB not too big would think you would have to sleep this way and your feet that way to have TV and nice little head area just not sure what it goes for since there's no price listed Oh, spoke too soon. 690 for this 35.8 Pursuit. Next up, we got the 42 Pursuit. Four 450s. Got your dive door here. Kind of the same setup. This fold out. Full of water back here, but pretty big and I guess this if I'm not mistaken this folds out to make it a platform bench seating here uh, it's kind of like a second row of seats here with more storage and coolers and stuff have here to go to the top if you want to stand up there kind of like the same as the 35 just this one has bigger seats Got your joystick, bow thrusters, you know, good. Oh, I like this feel right here. 
Coming here to the bow, it's definitely a lot bigger, a lot wider than the 35, which is understandable. But look at that, super big lawn chair. Let's check out the inside. Okay, so this 42 has a little bit more space, nice little table here, big TV bigger head really nice Let's see if we can find the price on this guy right here alrighty so this goes for boat show price 1.265 alright guys now here we have midnight express this is personally one of my favorite type of boats I'm gonna start here on the 37 open. 4 four hundreds. Really nice boat right here. Now these boats, what I like most about these boats is how they ride. These boats are one of the best cutting boats in the market. These things cut very well. Got a little dive door on this side. Seating two rows on a 37. Like the carbon fiber. You do have a place to sleep, but not too comfy. Check out the front right here, the bow. Now, one thing I don't like about this 37 is that this doesn't go all the way to the top, but small little critique, nothing big. You also have to put your feet and Mercury's. Next up, we have the 43 right next door, a little bit bigger. Three huge screens. This one kind of goes all the way to the top, but not. Still a little gap here, but that's my only critique. Got handles to hold on. Now here, you got a better place to sleep right there. Look at this huge bow area here. Really nice. I would love to own one of these one day. Now this is also a 43, but this is the Solis instead of open. Comes with a couple more options. You have five 500s back here. This thing must fly. Max speed, look at this, 100 miles an hour. This is easily a 100 mile an hour boat. bunch of lighting and stuff like that. See, this one doesn't have it all the way to the top. Oh, wow, look at this. I guess this at least has it more. Wow, this is really nice. Beautiful boat. And last but not least, they got the 53, but they're working on it right now. But look at this thing. That's a pull-out bench kind of thing so they could make a lounge area. This boat's known as the Beast. You guys could wonder why. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going to the next ones. We're here with Plantation Boat Mart. You guys know them if you see my channel. They're running the Deep Impacts and the Invincibles. So let's check it out. All right, guys, let's start here. Deep Impact is a 2024 
369. Comes with four 300s. Step in here. Nice little dive door here. Three seats. Another little bench seat right here. And here's the helm area. Got two Garmin's. You got your Mercury. Like that it's all the way enclosed. That's one thing I like on these Deep Impacts better than the Midnight Express. Nice little bow area here. And they do have a little bed right in there. Looks nice and comfy. Mm, I don't really like that too much under the seat that everybody can see, but that's where your switches are. I don't see the price on this 36, but we'll ask. All right, guys, after the 36, we have the 39 Sport. This one is a tier three paint job, as you guys see. Shines, they matched everything from the, the floor flooring, engine paint, the boat paint, and this boat goes for 792. Let's go ahead and take off our shoes here. Let's jump aboard. So you have four 500s back here, and I like that you have this little, kind of like a trunk storage back here. Awesome when you're going on a trip somewhere. Three seats back here. Speakers everywhere. I love this little cut right here. Put cup holders. A little entertainment center. Oh, I like this. You have a third row, and on the third row, they can see the speed and the depth. I have a little Garmin right there. I like that it has sunroof. Huge Garmin screens right here. Wireless charger, bow thrusters. Your helm. Coming up here to the front of the bow, you have these things that pop up, making them a lounge. Handlebars, because this boat goes fast. You have another Garmin up here in the front. Really nice seats right here. I love the storage right here too put stuff in here it's really nice all right here's the head area you have your toilet wash your hands and you have a huge bed that goes deep in there that's pretty nice all your switches are here your keys are in the inside also very nice boat all right guys now we're gonna check out Blackfin. And I also think that it was the wordy. Look who I see here. <laughs> Alright All right, guys, they didn't bring their whole lineup of Blackfin out here, but we'll start here on the 33. 33 comes with twin 400s. So you guys see right there, Mercs. You got a little door that comes out to the side. You got your dive door. You got your live well here, pull out bench. You got dual pull out coolers. Another live well here also. I like the glass so you can see little fishes swimming around. Now, Blackfin I think has one of the nicest cockpits, the nicest helms, like this kind of tilted to the side. It feels like you're in a fighter jet or something like that. I really like that. That's one of my favorite things about Blackfin. You got your bench seat right here. You got your platform. Here in the bow, very nice, clean looking boat. You have your windlass. You have all kinds of seating here, storage, storage under this seat right here. And I really like this door here. They look like kind of like doors that go on a submarine or something. Here on the inside, not much sleeping area but plenty of storage. 
I've never been on one of these 33s in the water, but never heard anything bad about them. So I'm sure they ride really, really good. Now let's check out the next one up, which is their 40. Alrighty guys, next up, this is an all new black fin right here. This is the brand new 40. This model just came out a couple of months ago. This boat goes for a million dollars, 1.1 I believe. Yeah, four Mercury's, live wheel, some drawers, lots of storage down here. All of this is storage. Two huge Yetis that pull out. You have here, cutting board, all kinds of stuff right here. You got your dive door with your ladder right here next to it that you can attach. You have some steps here so you can get to the top. You got a sea bob up there. You have two bench seats here in the back and in the front. Now these are probably the biggest garments I've seen in my life, honestly. It's huge. Yeah, storage here in the bottom. Got a platform when you step up here. Real nice cockpit. They have wireless charging here in the front. A little mercury screen. More storage here along the sides. Very nice bow area. Now let's check what the inside looks like. Oh wow, this is really fancy. It's a bench, but this folds back. And this is a huge bed here. Like this right here and those little lights, that's cool. This pops in and out for lights. Full shower. Really nice. Did not expect this from Blackfin, but came out great. Really nice boat. All right, let's go check out, see what else is out there. All right, guys, now this is one of the coolest little boats that I've seen in my life. They're basically Fiat's, Miami editions. They have all these different colors and they go for 125,000. Look at these things. Come with little Mercury's. So cool. All right guys, so basically we saw everything here on the floating docks. Mostly, as you guys saw, it, it's big yachts, things that are way out of my price range. So I'm gonna take the water taxi now to the convention center. It's a beautiful boat pulling up here. Steps, sir. going, guys? We're gonna go over to the convention center. Got these cool little golf carts here bringing us to the convention center from the shuttle. Well, that was a fun little ride over. Now we're here at the entrance of the convention center to see the rest of the boat show. Alrighty, let's see what we check out here. Hopefully we see more models because there weren't many on the floating docks. That 21, you know, 
30 foot range other than sea hunt. Let's see what we find in here. Alrighty, so they got a bunch of different boots here like Mercury, Yamaha, Suzuki. But we saw a lot of that. Let's get to the boats. So I'm gonna start my way from this side and go all the way to the other side. So see what's one of the first boats that we see here. Hmm, where should we start? Where should we start? And that blacked out Suzuki 350 looks nice. So Yamaha, CDs. Where are all the center consoles at? That's what we're looking for. All right, guys, so one of the first boats that we're going to start with here is Edgewater. Let's check out the lineup of Edgewater. All right, you guys, first off, we have the Edgewater 23. Goes for 167. These boats, their platform extends past the engine. Have a ladder right here. If you want to tow, you got a little tow hook here. You got a pull-out bench, but you also have the cooler under the seat. This folds up. A live well. You got your Garmin, Yamaha, your Fusion, your C7. Nice and closed. There is a little gap here in the top, so it's not fully enclosed, but... Let's walk up here, the bow area, edge water. They have the front door that opens up. It's for your fire extinguisher there. And this is the 23. Let's jump over to the next one. All right, so the 26, that's for 267. Comes with the twin 200s. Really, really, really rough situation. Yeah, I shouldn't turn them off. How's it going? You got storage here on the bottom. You got your dive door. Pull out bench. Live well. You got your entertainment center here. All kinds of different drawers. Very nice home area here. Not a big fan of the switches being here in the front, but they are easy access. Very nice, all the way enclosed. You got some storage up here also. Another little basket, it's pretty cool too. The seats go up and forward. Nice bow area here, very spacious. And then this one also opens through the front, a little bit bigger area. Very nice. Good looking boat. I like how this is curved, this curved glass. All right, let's check out the next one up. Following that one is the 34 CC. Goes for 584. Let's get up here. Big area back here. Got your cooler that pulls out, pull out bench seat, plenty of storage. Let's open one of these guys up, see what they look like. Oh yeah, big box. Got some drawers. Another little storage here, a dive door. You got two seats with a little platform here so you can step up and see even more. I like this helmet area, it looks nice and clean. I like that I still have buttons too. Joystick, windshield wiper, more storage along here, the sides. Huge coffin seat. Storage under the seats. Got your windlass. Let's check out the storage in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. I did not expect this. 
You can put all your fishing poles in there. Huge storage. All right, head area, very spacious. This is the 34cc. And last but not least, the biggest boat they got here at the boat show is the 37. Goes for 789. Got three 300s in the back. Very nice live well. Huge cooler back here with a sink. All your shore power connections back here, easy to get to. Nice little drawer to get to the back. Pull out bench, more storage like the other edge waters. This is a huge bench seat right here. Let's see, very nice. Oh, lights turn on when you open it. It's not fancy. Very nice. What's this one for? like how it turns off when you close it. Got your dive door. Oh, this one you enter through the front. Very nice for a 34. I mean a 37, I'm sorry. Got your nice bathroom in here. Microwave, cooler, very nice, very fancy. Check out the bow. Hydraulic table. Very nice. I like that little feature. You can put your cup holders and stuff. Very nice boat. So this is something that you can afford. Pretty good boat for the money. All right, let's go on to other models. We just finished checking out everything here at Edgewater. All right, guys, next up we have Regulator. It's another brand that they got here at the boat show. Let's check it out. So this is their fleet right here. They have a 24, 26, 30, 31, 28, 23, 34, 37, and a 41. They don't have all those boats here. I only see about three or four, but let's check out the ones they do got. Alrighty, so here we got three 300s. Assume this is a pullout bench. Yep. Let's just up here, some storage. Live well. Engines are on a platform also. A bunch of little drawers in here bench sitting facing the back two big helm seats in the front you got your joysticks your garmin wireless charger a place to put your feet has a bed don't like that it's kind of sitting on the floor but it is a big space here huge bow area here very big even before you get to the seats, it's a huge area. These regulators are fishing boats. This 34 is worth, it's going to show. So 225 is just a hole, but this boat priced out right now is 762 for this 34. Next door, they have a little bit of a bigger boat. I believe this is a 39. Comes with three 425s. Let's go around and jump on this one. All right, this is the 37 regulator. Three, three feet more bigger than the one next door, but it is a lot taller. Bunch of storage down here. This pops out, comes in inside the T-top and then slides out. Pretty cool, when it closes, it's nice and solid. Huge screens right here. 
Not a lot of buttons, so I'm sure everything's electronic. You have three seats right here. Wow, look at this. Grill pops out. Very cool. Pretty nice and clean in here on this 37. Huge area here in the front, and I suppose that's a hydraulic table that comes up and down. Very nice. Let's see what this looks like in here. Okay, got some storage here in the front too. Very nice boat. Let's see if we can find the price on this one. So, this boat is, let's see. 1.1 million dollars is what this boat goes for 1.147 very nice let's keep it moving i guess let's check out cv right next door all right so this is cv let's check out the lineup that they have here they do have quite a couple boats here so let's try to find the smallest one which looks to be over here in this corner and make our way up Alrighty, let's start here at CV on their 29-0. So this 29 comes with twin Mercury 300s. Take off my shoes for a second here. Alrighty, make our way up. All right, so you have a bench seat back here. Huge live well. I'm not sure what this is. Drain. You have a pull-out bench. I'm sorry, a pull-out cooler. Some drawers here for your fishing gear. Here in the helm area. Haven't seen this in a while where it's all behind the glass, but it's behind the glass here. Still have your mercury dials your switches enclosed all the way. This is plastic, it's not glass. Plenty of rod storage. You got here, see here, let's open this up, see what this is. Oh, there we go. So I guess this is where your toilet will go, inside here. Plenty of storage under the seats and this huge thing here. Wow, that's a fish box right there. I could probably fit in there laying down. CVs are fishing boats, guys. They're comfy, I'm not gonna say they're not, but they're fishing boats. These also pop up to make it a lounge. Let's see if we see the price for this boat. So I didn't see any pricing on it. All right, next up we have the 32. So after the 29, they jump up to a 32. They don't have no pricing on these boats. So it's not that I don't want to tell y'all. It's not listed. Like this cool live well here that wraps around the corner. You have one on both sides. This bench folds down. You got twin 400s, V10s. Nice little seat here. You got one of these. Okay, so your stairs is right on the dive door, so it just folds up. This one doesn't have the glass, but they're inside. Same way. Bench seat. No armrest on this one. Kind of like the 29. Huge box right here in the middle. It's probably even bigger than the other one. Let's see here. Got your windlass. open here the head slides over little head right here yep yeah, this is a uh, 32 right here people wanted to see the CV from my last video that I didn't include them here you go 
now we're jumping here to the 45. Big boy status right here. Oh wow, live rolls on the ground on both sides. Haven't seen that. Three six hundreds. We got fishing set up here. Huge cooler down there with seats and storage all along this boat. You have also some steps here to go to the top. You have a Garmin here in the back. Bench seat in the back. Look at this right here. Huge screens. All the way enclosed. We got a mirror looking back. They also have these holes right here that you can open up so you can get some fresh air. Very nice. Super long walk all the way to the bow. Another live wall. Like, guys, I think this live wall is huge. And it's one of their smallest ones. Let's check what the inside looks like. Oh, wow, look at this. That folds down, so this is a huge bed. You got a, your head right here. Shower. Very nice. All your switches right here. Very nice. Out of my price range, but still nice. <laughs> oh, and this one does have dual dive doors. Very nice. All right, guys, next up is Everglades. I like this brand a lot myself personally. So let's find the smallest Everglades they brought and make our way up to the big boys right here. All righty, guys, so the first one is a 24 center console. It's more like a bay boat, as you guys see, it's thinner, but this goes for 177. This 24 right here. Very nice. This one right here next up is a 25. So it's the next one up. Also kind of a bay boat as it's flat. It's kind of like what you guys get in our Everglades. Enclosed all the way. Have a head area. Bow. Now we're going to check out the 27, which is more of a center console. Now, I like this one. That's a bay, bay, bay boat. It's a center console also, but more of a flats boat. And a way that you know is because it has a jack plate. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so next up is the 27. Boat show price is 319. This one has twin 300s. These are painted, they look like 300s, it might be 200s. So here we have these seats that pull up on each side. This must be storage here. Yep. Here. You have a live well, little wash down, very nice helm area here, two huge garments, you got your joystick, up and downs, I don't know what this is, guess your trim tabs, maybe, no, this is your trim tabs, so I'm not sure what this is, maybe that's is your, for your GPS, I mean, for your navigation, head area, very nice. I like the colors, the red colors here. Huge bow area, storage along the sides, fully enclosed with a wiper. Never been on an Everglades, but everybody that has one swears by it, so it must be for a reason. Let's check out the next one. Next up, we have the 28 center console. That's by the Sapona, now that I'm looking at that video. This goes for 359. I could just go no. 
This one does come with the 300s. Those are the 300s right there. You got live wells on both sides. Let's see what this is here. This here, cooler. This also has these platforms that go past the engines. Pull out bench here, another pull out bench here. You have your dive door. Love this cockpit area here. It's very nice and clean and has great visibility. Got a couple more switches. You have spreaders up here. A bunch of buttons up here. And here they kept it nice and clean. Very nice head. More storage goes deeper in there. Storage along the sides here also. Very nice bow area. It has for a table there. Let's check. Huge area here. So you can put a bucket. And here, I'm not sure what this is. Let's find out. Oh, this is your table. So you can just pick this up, put the pole, and that's how you set up your table. Storage under these. I like that little cut right there too. So you can put in your cup holders. Very nice. All right, let's keep on going up. Next up, we have the 28 center console. That's by the Saponum. Now that I'm looking at that video. This goes for 359. This one does come with the 300s. Those are the 300s right there. You got live wells on both sides. Let's see what this is here. here cooler this also has these platforms that go past the engines pull out bench here another pull out bench here you have your dive door love this cockpit area here it's very nice and clean and has great visibility got a couple more switches you have spreaders up here a bunch of buttons up here and here they kept it nice and clean very nice head more storage goes deeper in there storage along the sides here also very nice bow area it has for a table there let's check huge area here so you can put a bucket and here, I'm not sure what this is. Let's find out. Oh, this is your table. So you just pick this up, put the pole, and that's how you set up your table. Storage under these. I like that little cut right there too. So you can put in your cup holders. Very nice. All right, let's keep on going up. Here's the next one up, 31, which goes for 473. Jump up here and check this out. That's the Mercury 400s. Very nice wood here. When you open the seat, it has a couple. That's very nice feature. Right there. I like that. You have your live wall on both sides. Pull out bench on both sides. Have another cooler down here that pulls out, and it's also a bench seat. Very nice and clean up here. A couple of buttons on top. Have storage. Here, you have very nice head. Have a coffin chair here. Backrest. I like that too. Very nice boat. Mm. One thing I'm not too sold on. Does this go up? Oh, that goes up. That's very cool. So you can slide this down and slide it back up. Very cool. Kind of like a sunroof. Never seen that feature before. A lot of you guys are going to like all the storage here on the sides. For your bow lines or whatever you want to put in here. Very cool. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we have the 33. This one actually has a tower on it. 
comes with twin 450s. And this 33 goes for 568. Alrighty you know, guys, can, uh, so this is the 33. Again, kind of same setup. Two bench sheets that pull out here. Live well, huge storage down here and under here. You got two seats facing the back. Love this wood. Very nice. Huge screens here, more wood. Very nice carbon fiber steering wheel. Head, still kind of simple, like the 31. It's very nice seats up here. More storage down here. Very nice setup here. These Everglades are expensive, but they sure are nice. Very nice. All right, guys, next up, let's check out Boston Wade. These guys have so many boats, all the way from 13 foot all the way to 420. Not sure if they have them all here, but they have probably the biggest area out of all the other boats here. So let's check them out. I guess this is the 13, but just get this one. Pretty much explains itself. This is 17, I'm sorry. Goes for boat show price, 56. Nice little entry level boat right here. And if you guys don't know, these Boston Whalers are unsinkable. You can literally cut them in half, drill a hole, and that's why they're so expensive. And they have such a good name behind them that are famous because these boats cannot sink no matter what. Alrighty, guys, let's get it started here with the 25 Dauntless boat show price, 179. As you guys see here, it has a 300 Mercury. There's a guy there doing his thing selling the boat, so I don't want to intrude too much, but it's basically it right here. 25. This is more of a flats boat. It's very thin on the back, but that's the 25. That goes for 179. Now we move over here. This is their 28. The 28 goes for boat show price, $307 thousand dollars comes with the twin 250 mercury's very nice bench seat that looks almost like floating Let's see here this is a wow very nice bench seat that folds up storage here probably live well Oh, huge platform here that I believe opens up and folds out. Yeah, I don't want to fold it out, but yeah, this folds out. It makes a whole platform for you to dive. That's really cool. So it doesn't have a dive door, but it does have that cool platform right there. I haven't seen that on a 28. Very nice, clean helm area here. Completely enclosed with a vent, storage on the top. Make our way here towards the bow. Very nice seating. Yeah, probably a big, huge storage down there here. Yep. Very big seat. Now they do have access here to their head. In there. And this is their 28, 28 dollars. Next up on the list, we have a 33 Outrage. Boat show price for this 33 is 494. Comes with the twin 400s, Mercury's. You got your pull-out bench, a little door to access the back. I'm sure your, your ladder to get up in the water and it's there. You got your dive door, huge storage box along the side, probably under this seat right here, also another live well. Let's 
Very nice twin sin rads here. Completely enclosed. You also have these ladders because you can open up and head to the top. So that's pretty cool too. Storage up here in the top. Huge bow area here. Storage here. Let's check out what this looks like. Wow, look at that. You got your table access here too. So probably put it here. Very cool. You control your music from up here too. You have a little controller there. Let's check out the head. Very big. We have also a cooler here, refrigerated. Very nice boat. And again, these are unsinkable. Like I said, you guys cut them in half, both sides will float. All right, next up, they have a 36. This 36 right here, not sure what this is, but it's about a million dollars. About what it looks like here. You have the huge 600s back here. Very nice live wall with a divider. Little seats that go back there, little door. Huge access to the inside. You have back seats right here. You have a beautiful helm right here with three seats. You also have a ladder with access to the top. Storage on top here. Huge sin rads here. You got your joystick, very nice. Huge bed in here. Looks like a queen size bed. Like the colors and the wood, very fancy. And here in the bow area, you have a huge sitting area. These folds up, storage, like the black inside there where you could put your cup holders while you're sitting up here. Very nice boat. And then last but not least, the flagship model, which is the 42 Outrage, goes almost for $2 million, 1.9. This one comes with triple 600s. And this thing is a beast. Full grill, refrigerators. Second roll that you can fold up. Beautiful seats and helm area here. AC ducts. Look at that. You can't even touch the front windshield. It's huge. Storage on the top. Storage back here. Very huge area down here. Oh, look, the Bahamas. <laughs> I'm sure this folds out and becomes a huge bed also. Got TV. You got a head here. Wow, this is fancy. Very nice. Look where the water comes out of. And I'm about six feet tall, and look at this. It's huge. Huge walk here to the bow. Table that folds up. I mean, goes up and down, hydraulic. Look at this huge lounge. Very slick, cool looking boat. So $2 million get you. Alrighty guys, right across from Boston Whaler, we have Robalo. So the first Robalo we have here is a 20 foot, 72,000 is the price. Comes with a 200 Yamaha SHO. You got your seats back here, your coolers on the bottom. Very simple bench seat, this is a Boat for entry level right here. Let's check out the next boat up. Next up is the 23 SHO 250. It says trailer included in that price, by the way. This one has these bench out that open up these seats. 
coolers through the bottom, kind of like the 20. This one doesn't have a GPS yet, but this is where it will go. 102. These Robalos have, like many other boats, the front is what opens up. And you don't have a full bench, but you do have a little windshield right here. Next up is the 25, boat show price, 147. 25 Robalo right here. This one has twin 200s. Like those might be 150s, I'm gonna double check. Pull out bench, access to the back ladder right here, like this little door. Got your cooler right under the bench. That's where your garments will go. That's your Yamaha C5, C7 screen. Full enclosed already here on this 25. Very nice bow area. These, you can remove them. If you don't want to have them there, if you're going to fish. And then here, these open like the other one, a little bit bigger on this 25. I don't think you can use the restroom with this closed though, to be honest. But this is there, 25. Alrighty guys, after the 25 is the 27. This goes for 163. These boats compete directly with the Sea Hunts. Very big spacious area back here with the pull out bench. You got a live well, your dive door. Again, guys, don't kill me for this, but I don't believe too much in a dive door that I can kind of see the crack of it. I don't know if this will stop the water. But it's their design. You have a seat back here. This looks like it folds up. Yep. Kind of like the other boat. Same kind of layout here. Just, of course, bigger boat. And this one also has access to the front. But of course, a lot bigger. This one, you could probably close this door and use the restroom. Now let's jump over to the 30 foot right next door. All right, the 302 goes for 213. This one has the twin 300s. Very wide, it feels Wider than my boat, that's for sure. You got the pull-out bench, like you have on all the other models. The live well, little bench seat here. Is there any storage under this one? Yes, there is. So you have a live well down there. Let's see the door on this guy. I mean, you do have it blocked here. It's just open on the top side, but I don't know. I'm not too sold on that. You have a bench seat here, nice and wide. Your helm area fully enclosed. You have storage on the top, but you also have a little vent. Have your bow area here, very nice, huge storage here. And this one on the 30 still is the entrance is through the front, but as you guys can see, the toilet's not even facing us. You can walk and it's to the side. I have a friend that has this boat. I haven't seen him since last year, but every time I see this boat, I remember. Alrighty, next up, we have Grady White. Let's check out the lineup of Grady White. Alrighty guys, the first one is they're 23 for 170,000. There's no dive doors on this. Grady White, but kind of the same setup here. You have a door that comes out. You have pull out bench, lots of storage up here. Live well. 
It's your cooler right here, cooler box. I want to know what these are. Okay, so you can put more things here, put some ice here, so when you're on the water, you don't have to get up on the boat to get your stuff. Have a little bench seat here. Is your home full enclosed? No, I take that back. It's not full enclosed. <laughs> Got your storage up here. Another little storage up there. Here you got your bow area here and your head, I believe, opens here. This doesn't have a head. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it does. Right here. Oh, for a 23, that's pretty big. All right, let's jump up to the 25. All right, next up is your 25. Has a 300. Let's get up here and take a look at it. Oh, I like this. It's, it's a pretty cool feature here. This folds down. I guess it's like a bench seat. Very similar to the 23. No dive door. But very nice setup. This one hasn't had the garments yet. But this is where they go. Full bench seat with storage on the bottom of these Grady Whites. Here's the bow area. Lots of storage under these seats by what it looks like. These fold up too, like this. Very narrow coffin. Oh, cause this is a table. Okay, that's what's going on here. So it has a bench, but then it has this attachment right here. I really like how this wraps around and the, the, the pole is on the inside. That's a cool feature. Yeah, very nice. Now this is the 28, right next door. I'm gonna double check the price on this one right here. This 28 goes for 324,000. This one has twin 200s. You got your live well, a couple little boxes here. This has a really cool dive platform that you see these guys are setting up. Very nice. Since it doesn't have a dive door, this 28, you get off the boat through there. A lot wider, it feels like. Oh, they made a full extension here. So this actually kind of connects. You made a full lounge area. But of course, you could take these off too. It's huge storage under this coffin seat right here. Let's check on the other side, the head. Nice and spacious. Got your bathroom and storage. I like it. Alrighty, next up we have the 2024 32 Canyon. This goes for 390. And this is the first boat I see here at the boat show that has the new Yamaha 350s. Very cool. First time I see them on a boat. Now the 32, you're getting into another class of boat. You have the twin 350s, how I just showed you. You have your dive door here. Huge storage back here. Check this out. You have access to the back platform. This is another one of these boats that the platform extends past the engines. Huge area back here with those drawers, those are refrigerated. Kind of looks like the Cobia back here. Live well. You have three bench seats right here. One, two, three. They haven't fitted this one for any GPSs, but you can put three GPSs here or two big ones. Very great visibility. Joystick, storage on the top. Kind of like all the other Grady Whites, very wide bow area here, very comfortable. Also this, no storage under this. I thought I was gonna see some storage there. 
This one should have a nice head area. Uh, not so big. It does have storage there, but I would think this had a bed. Did not. And again, this goes for 390. Alrighty guys, let's get out of here at Grady White and move over. I think I see Contender right next door. Alrighty guys, next up is Contender. Let's check out what Contender has here in their lineup. Alrighty guys, don't forget that Contenders, these are serious fishing boats. These guys don't care too much about comfort, they care about performance and filling up the fish box. So let's start here with the 25. Let's see if we see the boat show price. These contenders tend to not have any pricing. This one comes with the twin 200s. Like I said, these are fishing boats. Very plain bench seat here. Very small little pullout, but lots of storage here. This has an icing glass. This one actually has forward seating because usually they don't even have this. But this 25 has these forward seatings and storage under these. You also have some storage here and storage under. And I believe this is where the windlass is at. Nope, no windlass. I guess I haven't put it in yet. But this is where your anchor, of course, will go. These boats are very simple. Uh, let's see if I can find a price for it. Alrighty, next up is the 28. Also with two twin 200s, so about three feet difference from the 25 to the 28. You got your live well back here. More storage boxes down here. Hmm? This one does have the sim rads, so you got your two swim rads here. JL Audio, again, even on this 28, very simple bench seat. This one does have a head. And there's a showing the boat, so we're not gonna intrude too much, but just so you guys gotta have an idea what the bow looks like. All right, guys, this one is, I believe they're 32. This one does have twin 300s. Got a nice door sealed here in the back. Two live wells, another live well here. Like I said, these are serious fishing boats and they perform really, really good in the water. That's one thing I, I could seen in person myself. You got seats here, a little bit nicer. Not typical contender. You got two buttons here, which I have no idea what they do, but they do something. Nice, very helm area, round icing glass. Here's your head. Again, very simple. Toilet, all your switches here. Got a coffin chair here. These, I believe, individually fold up. Huge storage down here. Look at that. Bunch of JL Audio speakers there. Sound, boat must sound really good when turned up. Yeah, man, these contenders, serious fishing boats, as serious as it gets. All right, guys, and they also have a 35 contender. This one also has triple 350s. So the second boat I see here at the boat show with the new Yamaha. So they're out there. Now oh, they got some guys here talking. There's a guy showing the boat there, so let's not intrude. Let him do that. One thing I don't like to do here at the boat show is get in the way of salesmen making their sales. But basically, it's just a couple feet more than the other one. Kind of same layout. That step hall right there that does wonders in the chop. 
kind of get an idea here since I don't want to go up there. Plenty of storage boxes, just a bench seat, very plain boat. It's a fish killing machine. That's what this boat is. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the boat that I had pre YouTube before I got the sea hunt was a Chris Craft. I had a 28 foot Chris Craft that had, you know, Merc cruisers inside. So let's see what they got here when it comes to the open fishermen. I believe this is the smallest one they have. No, they have some smaller ones over here. All right, so let's start here. I, this is the smallest boat they have here, center console. This is their Catalina 28. Let's jump up here and check this out. Yep. This one also, I just noticed, is equipped with the Sea Keeper trim tabs. I love these colored Mercury's. So once you walk here, don't have a dive door by what I can see. Oh, they do on this side. Very nice little station here. You got a live well. You got your pull-out bench down here also. Nice little helm area here. You got two Garmin's, you got your Mercury's. You also have your, this is your joystick. Enclosed, except here, you have a little gap right here, but pretty much enclosed. You can open this also. Some storage here. First time I'm on a Chris Craft center console. Have your head in there. Table, for I guess up here in the front. Bow area. Storage under the seats. Oh my God, so close. Plenty of storage down here. Also have another little storage right here. Very nice wood detail right here. So yep. Yeah. Oh, they also have refrigerator cooler here also. Very nice. This 28 goes for 441. Now, another center console they have after the 28 is their 30. Boat show price is 528. So this has the 400s, Mercury's. You have a dive door on this side. That's a little attachment for a table, I guess for this area back here. It has this rug which I've never seen on a boat before. But it has this little rug, probably a little sink here. Live well. Another little bench seat that I guess pulls out here. Very nice and clean helm. I like this wood and this right here. Kind of reminds me, it gives me vibes of the black fin, but very nice. Twin seats here with a cup holder in the middle. Place to put your feet up. Looks like we have AC because here are the ducks for the AC. Alrighty, so we got a full bed in here. Under is that you can lift that up and that's where the toilet is at. Sink, very nice. And then it has a huge bow area up here. Very nice. Yeah. And I like how this roof right here extends forward, so that gives you a bunch of shade when you sit here in the bow. Also has a refrigerator cooler right here. Very nice. Little expensive for a 30, but this is your cup of tea. Very nice, and these are 350s. I stand corrected, I thought there were 400s. Now somebody told me to make sure this year at the boat show, I check out Pursuit, so let's do it. All right, here in Pursuit, we're going to start with the 24. Don't see a price here, but maybe inside here we do. So this is a 24 Pursuit, comes with a 300. You got your pull-out Yeti cooler. You have a pull-out bench seat, and you have a live well here. Storage along the bottoms here. Here's your helm area. 
feels a little tight in my opinion, but like, you know, not like small. But again, it's only a 24 and it goes for 189,000. You have storage here, it's your bow area. And I believe this is where you get to your head right here. Pretty cool. And this 24 it has full enclosed glass right here. Next up, we have the 28 Pursuit. This one comes with twin 300s. Another one of these boats that the platforms extend back. We have pull-out bench back here and here, so plenty of space. Now this 28 goes for 356,000 boat show price. Have your dive door here. See, unlike the Robalo, well, kind of like the same thing as the Robalo. It's a little bit open here, but sealed in here. You got your live well. I like the wood. Here's your helm area. You got your two garments. Got a little storage here. Not much on top, but you do got a sunroof. Completely enclosed. Here, this area here is full of seats. You have storage under here. You got here your your anchor, windlass. So this is the inside. Very nice. For the ones that open here in the front, it's pretty deep in there. Nice little sink area there. <laughs> Alrighty, this is a 28 Pursuit. Let's keep on going up. Alrighty guys, we have this 26 right here. Comes with twin 200s. Have a pull out bench here. You have a, your live well. Plenty of storage and things here so you can put in your baits and all that good stuff. Here's your helm area with your two garments. These nice little bench seats that fold in and out. Have your bow area here with these that you can take them out. You have storage under each one. Have your windlass storage on the bottom and here. and it has full access to the head right here. This boat show price for this 26 is 230, 230, 231. All right, guys, we're here in Scout. First one we're gonna look at here is their 21 foot Scout. So you guys see there, you have a lot of storage there. But the, the other blue is going to look Pull out good. bench back here. The cooler down here. Here's your helm area. Very tall and skinny up here. This one goes for 109. This 21 foot scout. All right, let's keep on going up. All righty, guys, this is here in Scout. They're 26. This comes with twin 200 Mercury's. These scouts are very nice, very fancy. Pull out bench, very nice stitching here. You also have your live well. You have your dive door here on this 20. You have your dive door here on this 26. You have your entertainment center here, cutting boards, your cooler. I like this black this all blacked out area here this goes for 226 for this scout right here a couple buttons on the top Let's check here the head area nice and clean pretty big for a 26 nice little stitching here i really like that here you have huge storage up in the front that's your ladder there to get in and out of the boat when you're in the water. 
cup holders. I really like the lights here too. Very nice. Alrighty guys, next up on Scout is the 305. Maximum horsepower, 800. So you could go with two 400 Mercury's back here. Little seat back here, some drawers right there. You got cutting board, storage along the sides, optional. You could put a seat keeper in this one, like many boats nowadays. You got your Garmin. This boat goes for, this 30 goes for 502. Wow, did not think it was that expensive. 502, very nice seats here. Got some storage here for your garbage. Little thing to put your feet up. Let's check the head here. Oh, it's not the head, it's just a drawer for rods. Nice lights. It's a little platform here where you could pick this whole area. You could take this off if you want to get there to the fish. I like so behind I here how you could put your phone or anything. You got plenty of storage down here. Not as big as it looks. That means that the head room in there downstairs is taking up that space. Let's check it out. Alrighty, here we have a 300 the, in, the, in the 30. We have a bed. We have everything here, all the storages. You have a head. This is the first 30 foot boat that I've seen that has a bed. So that's pretty unique in this scout. Alrighty, next up, they're 33. Once you get to these 33s, you're getting into the big boy status. If that 30 was 500, I bet this is like 700. Pull out seat, this folds up too. Huge, thick door, dive door there. Got your live wall back here. Like this helm area, this is nice and tall. There's three seats back here. And boat show price, okay. I was way off. 584. Let's check out the head of this one. Oh, this is nice. So I guess those unite and that creates one big bed. Pretty cool. Here you have your coffin chair here. Let's just go up. Yes, it does. Oh, that's a lot of storage. You also have storage under the chairs, table with hydraulics that goes up and down. More storage here. Really cool. Completely enclosed, of course. And this, I thought it was the head on the other boat, but it's for rod storage. Very nice. Scout also has a 37 here, triple 400s. Huge boat, very big open area here. That's your dive door. You got also your live well, dual wireless chargers back here. This goes for 950,000. Three screens, sunroof, and this must have a huge area in here. Yep, not as big as I thought, but it has a huge TV, and it hasn't. The head is separated. It's a huge bow area here, hydraulic table. I guess they don't have the cushions, but all those are usually seats. Like that little cut there for your drinks. Probably huge storage here. Not too much because the head down there extends out. But very nice boat. If you got the money. 
Another boat that I missed in the last boat show was Regulator. Make sure I don't lose this time. So let's check out Regulator boats. So let's start off with this 23 right here. This 23 comes with twin 150s. Let's get up here and take a look at it. All right, so first off, the 23 Regulator, the twin 150s. You got access to the back right here. You have a pull-out bench. I believe these are live wells. Yes, they are. Got a couple cup holders, some areas for some drawers there. One big Garmin, like the buttons with the colors. Have each individual one has to put your feet, like this bar alongside the seats here, full enclosed. I think this is the first 23 that I see that is fully enclosed. Pretty big head, even though it doesn't have the toilet in there right now, but tight, but pretty deep in there. Huge bow area for a 23 up here. Very nice. Let's see if we see the price of this boat. Price for this boat is Two hundred and forty-nine, so two forty-nine for this twenty-three regulator. Jumping over here, this is the twenty-eight. Next one up, same setup here. This right here. This you can close it or you can there's open a, it. It's a, a little latch. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So you can mm -hmm. cover this and you can get just like that twenty-three. You can get back yeah. to the back platform right there. So it's a really cool first boat I see that has this setup right there. But then it looks nice when it's closed. Your live boats, your pull-out bench, you have another live boat back here. You got your helm area, wireless charging, dual garments, fully enclosed with your vent. Have some storage on the top back there. Making our way here to the bow. Kind of like the 23, just of course a lot bigger more spacious and let's check out the head of this one a lot bigger head and this one does have the toilet installed now this one goes for 431 that's the price of this boat next up they have a 30 regulator this one has more of a I don't know if it's the same this has more of a bay type boat, it's a lot, not as deep. So it has the pull out bench seats right here. Yeah, it's definitely more of a bay boat. It has all this platform back here, a bunch of buckets and drawers and stuff. You got your joystick here, dual garments, wireless chargers. I like the stitching here, very nice. Let's see, this can't be cheap. 463 for this 30 foot regulator got your head in there huge wide bow area here very nice a lot of storage full enclosed with a vent very nice they have one more regulator which we're going to check out we move on to the next boots. All right, last but not least, this is their actual 31. So it goes 23, 28, 31, because that was more of a bay boat. So this is the actual center console DV 31 right here. So this one comes with twin 450s. You got your live wells, pull out bench, huge dive door, I might say. Your drawers, and I like that you have seating here too, that you can sit here too. Helm's pretty much the same. Let's check what the price of this baby goes for. This thing cost $580,000. That's the boat show price. I like that it has this fold down cup holder, and it has this is pretty cool. It has it for people sitting in the back too. 
check out the head in here. Very spacious. Huge area here. Four seating, storage under all the seats. Very nice boat. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours since I've been doing all these boats for you guys. I'm gonna find some place to eat because I'm starving already. And then we'll keep on showing you more boats. So let's find a place to eat. All right, guys, so here we're at Sportsman. We came back, we just had lunch. And this is the 23-1 Sportsman with a 131 price here at the boat show. Yamaha 300. Bench seat here in the back, tow hook. That's where your cooler would go, slides back out. Here's your helm. Here's the inside. See all the batteries there, but. Bow area here. Fully enclosed on this 23. So 131, entry level boat here. All right, after the 23, we have the 26. Boat show price, 207. Comes with twin 200s. Kind of like the 23, just of course a little bit bigger. We do have some storage here in the bottom that the other one doesn't have. Here's your cooler. Your live well under the seat. You have a dive door on this model. These chairs are very nice. Nice stitching here. You have dual garments, joystick, full enclosure, some storage at the top. Here's the head. This right here, this has the hydraulic lifting table that goes up and down. You can use it as a bay or you can use it to eat. <laughs> nice little bench seat here. Very nice. We also have the open 25 show, boat show price, 157. This one comes with the twin 150s. That's where your cooler goes. You got your pull-out bench. You have a full live well here. Storage on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. Here's your helm area, fully enclosed. Your head right in there. Some more storage here. Got some more storage down here. This is the 25. The 26 is for 192. Oh look, they didn't notice. This one has a Sea Keeper ride. Here's the live well, pull out bench. You have live well on both sides. Have your Garmin. Some storage down here. Actually, it's not storage, just where your batteries are at. Here's your head. And this is the front of the bow. Here's a 28 Sportsman. Goes for 255. This one has 300s. Got live wells. Got a bunch of drawers here.
Here's your Garmin. Here's your chairs. Nice fold out chairs here. Here's the head on this 28. A lot bigger. Got some storage there in front. This 28 comes with the hydraulic table that lifts up and down. Here we got the 302. Boat show price is 305. We got two live wells, pull out bench. These are the brand new 350s on this 302. You got your dive door on both sides, pull out bench seat. You got your head here, full bench seat, with a little cup holder here in the middle. If you like it, come back talk to me show you my Full enclosed. I crossed to Bimini with one of these. One of these 302s handled the chop really, really good. Got the hydraulic table that goes up and down. You have a little bed there to lay down. So, yep, this is a 30 foot sportsman. All right, right, here's the 32. This goes for 383. Here you got two Mercury's, kind of like the same as the 30. Live well over here, bench seat over here. Dual dive doors, bunch of storage here on the sides. Here's your helm area. Fully enclosed. Let's check the head area here. That's one little bench side to sleep on. It's a toilet right down there. Say hi to YouTube, guys. <laughs> so this is a 302, guys. Yeah. This is Tommy Hancock. How's it going, Tommy? Oh yeah. Nice to meet you, Tommy. My name's Ariel. Ariel, nice yep. to see you, man. Nice to see you. Coming to our All right, guys, we're here in Sea Chaser. This is their 20 foot model right here. Let's check what this boat goes for, this 20. <laughs> mm, I don't see a price up. Oh. Price on top. It says 58. 58,000 for this 20 foot. All right, next up is the 22. This comes with a Suzuki 200. Full bench seat back here. You got a cooler down there. You got a live well over here. Here's your helm area. This boat goes for 63,000. Here's the bow area. Now, does this have a head? Yes, it does. Small little head area, but you fit a toilet in there. Next up, we have the 24 foot sea chaser. This one comes with dual Suzuki's. These are 140s each. You have a dive door on this one. Bench seat, live well. Got your cooler under there. Doesn't have any garments yet, but that's where they would go. Little windshield. Next up, oh, by the way, this uh, 24 is 93,000. Now we come up to this 27. Nice big thick dive door here. Two pull out bench seats. Another little chair there. You got your live well. Rinse down. You have another live well here. You 
There you go. Then you have your seats here. Sea chaser. You got a Sinrad. Storage down here. Storage up here. It's one of these boats that have this little backrest here. You can fit some storage in here. Both sides. You got storage down there, and that's a table. You don't have a fully enclosed, but pretty much almost. And this boat goes for 163. 163,000. Here we have the 30 center console. This comes with twin Suzuki 300s. I like that color too. Big dive door here. Huge area back here. Very big. You like to fish? You have a lot of space here. This, I believe, is a pullout bench. Oh no, it's not. Storage. A little door to come to the back. Twin 300 Suzuki's. This goes for 230. It's your live wheel here. Your seats. Helm area. Same kind of layout as the other boat. I like that this has a pullout bench, so this is not in the way if you want to fish. And let's check the head. There we go. And the boat show price is 193. Now the biggest boat that Sea Chaser has is a 35. They got twin 350 Suzuki's. Huge dive door here, same layout. Got a huge live well back here. Pull out bench seats. Nice little door to the back. Huge area here. Got a live well on one side, wash down on the other. Like this tan colored dash right here. Dual sin rides. Boat show price is $299. It's probably the cheapest 35 that I've seen. Full storage up there, enclosure complete up there. Huge storage down deep in there. Close your head. Huge coffin here. Lots of space and that's where you have your tables. Right in here. Very big feeling boat right here. It feels like a big 35. All right guys, another boat that I did at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show was Naughty Star. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's check out their lineup. All right guys, we're gonna start here with their 22. Boat show price is $84,000. This comes with a Yamaha. 200. Jump up here. I love these cushions, these stitching. Very nice. And I guess that goes here where I stepped on. So you got your live well, you got your pullout cooler, basically like all other center consoles. Helm area, you have your sin rat over here. You can probably add another one here. Storage up here on the top, some more buttons up here. Here, you guys are seeing here the bow. Storage down here, storage under these seats. Very nice entry level boat. All right guys, next up is their 25. Boat show price, 148. Kind of like the, the other boat. How you doing, boss? Good, good. Back bench seat here, some kind of same layout as the other one. You got live well back here, another live well here. Got some switches right here, fresh water shower. Coming up here in the helm area. 
Got your sin rod here to put your stuff. It's not all the way to the top, but it is pretty tall windshield. Pretty straightforward. Got a little bench seat here to put your feet, access to your batteries. Here in the head, you got a restroom. That I believe goes here to make this a whole layout. This is it. So keep on moving up. This is Naughty Stars 29 Legacy Boat Show Price 228. This comes with double 300 Yamahas. Huge storage. Kind of looks like the Sea Hunt. Little door to get to the back. Your live well there. Another huge live well here also. Pull out cooler. These are the new Simrads, which you notice there's more, instead of more square, they're more rectangle. That price is with these included. Here's your head right here. It's a 29 Legacy. Got the bow area, storage under each bow seat here. And you got probably, no, no storage here, it's just seat. But not a bad boat for the price. I like it. You also have pull-out bench like most center consoles. And they just came out with a new boat. A 35, I think they told me. So, or 33, I'm sorry. So maybe we check that out in the future. All right, let's keep it moving. All righty, guys. Next up, Cobia. You guys know this boat very well if you watch my channel. Let's check them out. Alrighty, so let's start here. With this Cobia right here. This is the 24cc twin 150s. You got the stairs kind of like my Cobia that come out. Here you got your live well, your pull out bench. Got some drawers here, storage along the floors. Nice new stitching, I haven't seen this before, really nice. It's your helm area, a little bit of storage here, storage on top and on this side. Here's the bow. Let's see, you got some storage down here. There you go. And this is the head area, right here through the front. And this has full enclosure, right here. 24, this is for 150,000. Same pull-out bench that I got. Good entry-level boat right here. All right, guys, this is the 26 Cobia. Comes with twin 200s. You have one live well pull out bench seat helm area here you could probably have another one of these garments on this side here are your seats a bow area this one opens to the front also pretty spacious you can actually close this door and use the restroom with privacy Let's check out the other Cobias. Alrighty, next up we got the 28. This one comes with twin 200 Yamahas. Got some drawers back here, your pull-out bench, your live well. You got your little seat to come to the back. Storage on the bottoms, LED lights along the sides. Got your seats here, with, love this stitching. Got dual garments. Got storage both sides, full, enclosed. And now here in the 28, you have the hydraulic table that goes up and down. You do it as a lounging area, or you can make it as a table. Then this one has the head here through the front. 
Next up is the 301. This is the bow that competes with my 30. Kind of like the same setup as my 35, just of course a little bit smaller. Pull out bench, of course, dual live wells. You got your dive door, storage on the bottoms. You got your entertainment center here, wash down, cutting area. A little bit bigger helm area here, joystick, all the works on this boat. Boat show price is $284 for this 31, I'm sorry, 301 Cobia. Got the table here. And this is how you use the restroom. Now, once you get to the 35, which we're gonna see next, you have the bed that I have that you guys seen on my boat, just right across from here. This one has the brand new 450s. I still got the 425s on mine. So you guys know this boat pretty well. I guess they were lifting this out to have access to all that down there, but that's your pullout bench. Live well, you guys know this boat pretty good. Your entertainment center here. You got storage all along the floors. Man, I feel right at home in this boat. You guys pretty much know what all this looks like if you watch my channel. That's the bed I sleep in, the lights. You guys know this table comes up and down. So the storage down here, as you guys already know, this thing holds the ice stronger than every, anything I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, guys, these are the Cobias. Let's keep on going to other companies now. These are the MIT boats. You guys see this 1,000 horsepower engine right here. Look at these turbos. Very nice. They also have a center console, which I'm not even going to get on, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. Max speed, I don't know if y'all can see it there, 88.9. That's fast for this big boat. Look at these cats. Oh, that's cool, so when you're at the sandbar, you can hear the music from outside. I like that. Oh, very nice. See, I wanted one of these, but my wife would never let me get one of these. She says that I'll kill myself. She's probably right. All right, guys, we're here at Regal. Let's check out their center consoles. I know they have a couple here. Now, I don't see any center consoles here. I think Regal just brought their big boats. But this is something that maybe when I get a little bit older, I'll get into. It's a little bit slower, but it has more space for the kids. So. No center consoles here except this one right here, this 50, which is amazing, huge. It's the only center console they got here. All right, guys, we're here at Sea Hunter. Here they got Mercury 300s. This is kind of like Contender, very serious fishing boat. Lots of storage along the floor. Two live wheels here. Storage down here. More storage here. You got the helm area here. Nice simple bench seat. Here's your house. It's in here. It's this fiberglass it's the front right here you got more storage here in the front and under the seat this reminds me of a contender now this one I don't see a price on it 
I'm not sure I see any price whatsoever on it. Nope, I don't. Next up is this Sea Hunter right here. This one has twin 400s. <coughs> Very simple. I showed you guys on these boats. I do like the entry door. Since it doesn't have a dive door, the entry door is through the back. I like that. Big open area here. As you guys see, no seating. These are serious fishing boats. All right, guys, so this was the 28 Floridian. This one is 300 and up. And then this one is the 31 Sea Hunter, which is going to be a little bit higher in the ballparks, past the 350s around there. They don't give a, a set price here, but you guys can always come here and ask the guys directly. All right, guys, we just have a few more boats to check out before we wrap this video up. We're here at Tidewater. This is their 23 Tidewater. Goes for 100 and 11,000. Comes with a 250 Mercury. Let's jump in here. Live well. Let's pull out bench seat. You got your garments here. Helm seats. Here's your bow area. This right here is your seat. Storage down here. You got your house right here. Nice little entry level boat. Next up, we have 25 foot tide water. This boat right here has twin 200s, got a full bench seat got here a little storage kind of uses as a cooler here's the helm area like the stitching on these seats it's your head like all the speakers that this boat has Full enclosure also. Very nice. This boat goes for 159,000. Let's check out also. This is Tidewater 29. Tidewater Custom. 29 comes with two 300 mercuries we got pull out bench live well got plenty of places here to store another sorry another live well there here's your helm very nice i like the blue colors storage you got your switches down there I like this black powder cordon full enclosure very wide bow area here. Very wide beam on this boat. Let's check out what the storage looks like. It's pretty big. I really like the stitching on this boat. I like that. The price on this 29 is, it's not bad at all. 227. I like it. All right, guys, I think I covered all the boats that I wanted to cover. Hope you guys liked this video. Now we gotta make our way all the way back to the car, which is quite a ways. I came today in the Metro Ram, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but we're gonna beat the traffic, which is the most important part. So I think that's gonna wrap up the Miami Boat Show 2024. I do want to give a special shout out to my wife because today is Valentine's Day and look where I'm at instead of spending the day with her. I did make up to her before with the houseboat video that you guys saw. So that was kind of like our Valentine's Day uh, 
you know, trip, you could say. And I bought her a nice gift too, but she didn't mind me coming over here today and putting in the work and doing what I gotta do. So shout out to my wife. Now there's another side of the boat show, which is upstairs. Here's all the retail stuff. Thank God I didn't come with my wife. She would love everything in here. All right, guys, so that's going to be a wrap from the 2024 Miami Boat Show. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification button, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.